Welcome back. Suspects arrested in a series of anti-Semitic attacks have been released since New York's criminal justice reform laws took effect just four days ago at the beginning of the year. Mayor Bill de Blasio admitting the new law that frees hate crime suspects without bail is flawed, saying, quote, where I think there is real agreement is that the bail reform law needs to be amended. I believe this strongly. Here to weigh in with us is New York State Assemblywoman and GOP congressional candidate, Nicole Maliatakis. Thank you so much for being here this morning, thank Nicole. Thank you. Thank you. So my first question for you is, I see two issues with this. One of this being the classification of these crimes. So as we know, this only applies to or excludes violent felonies. But things that aren't included in violent felonies are stalking and sex crimes with a minor. How is there any type of, of, of um, how does this reconciled at all? Well, look, there are heinous crimes, there's violent crimes, serious crimes, almost any type of drug dealing except for heavy trafficking. Um, there's a, a criminally negligent ho uh, um, homicide, manslaughter. Uh, we have really serious crimes here that are just going under the radar. And people need to go to my website, NicoleForNY.com, and list them there. People will be surprised to see crimes like strangulation, crimes like... Um, uh, just, just so many different things that you would be really, and you have the, the sheet up there, domestic violence. Uh, if you are someone who is stalked and strangled and the perpetrator is released, what are they going to do? They're going to come back and potentially kill you. As a matter of fact, we just saw someone released in Albany who was charged with second degree manslaughter and has been held since July, released because of the laws that Andrew Cuomo has passed here in New York. Exactly. And even prior to January 1st, we had judges released 25,000 defendants because they said, well, around the corner, this law is going to take effect, so we might as well release you now. And that's the, uh, the second issue with this, is that it removed the judge's discretion. So unlike New Jersey, which has a similar set of laws but maintains judge's discretion, here in New York, the judge is unable to say, look, I know this defendant is a danger to society. For example, in those anti semitic attacks. We had a repeat recidivistic offender there. She was on the streets and did it again. We've seen a number of instances like that just in the past 10 days. But what's interesting is that even someone with an extensive criminal history, an individual with 24 prior arrests, punched a police officer in Brooklyn, was released right back onto the street. Uh, and we saw an illegal immigrant in Rockland County on Christmas Eve hit, drive unlicensed, hit and killed a 35-year-old mother of three, was released back onto the street after he left the scene of the accident, was caught. It's unbelievable what local law enforcement has to put up with. But thankfully uh, to uh, President Trump, uh, he was apprehended by immigration enforcement and will be deported. But, you know, local law enforcement has their hands tied. And it's comical to see people like Bill de Blasio, who was offering free Mets tickets, gift cards, to incentivize people to return to court. He lent his support for this uh, law. My opponent, Max Rose, in 2018, up until just recently, has said he supported this law. And now, all of a sudden, they're backtracking. We need Governor Cuomo to backtrack, too. So I ask people to go to my petition, NicoleFriendWide.com. We already have 11,000 New Yorkers that have signed, uh, but we have to get this law changed. We go back to session next week, and I think we have a very good mm -hmm. opportunity. Even the Senate leader is saying that she's open to amending it. Okay, thank you so much, Congressional Candidate Nicole Maliotakis. We're so grateful.